it's finally going to happen. Sigma is announcing RF lenses for the Canon R system. Five long years after Canon introduced the RF mount back in 2018, we're finally getting high quality third party lenses, filling that missing gap in Canon's lineup, providing us with more affordable and unique lenses. Want to know more? Then stick around after this short message. But first, subscribe to this channel for a chance to win a Canon EOS R5. I'll be giving one away to one lucky subscriber once this channel reaches 100,000 subscribers. Anyone above the age of 18 with a valid mailing address is eligible. Additional terms and conditions are linked in the description down below. It's been a long wait, a very long wait for many of us, but the eagerly awaited moment for Sigma RF glass is nearly upon us, with an exciting Sigma announcement close by. In just a few minutes, I'll delve into the specifics, but before we do that, let's reflect on the journey that brought us here. Maybe you bought the Canon EOS R back in 2018, or the Canon EOS R5 in 2020, or maybe you even picked up the Canon R8, the R7, or even the R50. And when you were making that purchase, you thought that Sigma or Tamron lenses, well, they would be available soon. But year after year, your hopes were dashed. But many lost their patience waiting for Canon to approve third-party lens makers, instead selling their gear and moving to Sony, Fuji, or Nikon. Then came the gut punch in 2022, when Canon's legal team came down like a bag of wet hammers on third-party lens makers, telling them to stop producing RF lenses without their approval. Many lens makers pulled their lenses from the market, like Samyang, while others were limited to producing manual focused lenses that couldn't communicate directly to the mount. And for many that hadn't already sold their gear that were on the fence, that was it. That was the final straw. They sold their gear and they moved to Sony, Fuji, Nikon, Panasonic, and even OM systems. But then at CP Plus, Canon's development team was interviewed by Phototrend. When asked about the direction of third party lenses, Canon responded by saying, we hear their demands. However, we have no direction or policy as such on this subject. Naturally, I cannot share more details with you, but what I can say is that if this aligns with our strategy, we will then take necessary action on a case by case basis. I can't tell you any more. And this opened up the door just a little bit. It's kind of like getting that sunny day at the end of February after three or four months of day after day of cloud, of snow, of cold, to finally get a glimmer of light, to get a glimmer of heat, to put a smile on your face, to just make you feel better. And that's what it felt like. And then just a few days later, also at CP Plus, Cosina announced the Voigtlander 50 millimeter F1 RF lens, a lens that was approved by Canon on their case by case basis. But to get that lens, it wasn't until October 26, 2023, that this lens was released for the general public. And people like Gordon Lang finally were able to review it. This long wait frustrated customers even more. While this lens could communicate with the mount and it was Canon approved, once again, it was a manual focus lens. And the only other third party RF lens to be announced since CP Plus in early February of 2023 is the Mica 85 mm f1.4 autofocus lens. And that one also didn't arrive until late 2023. And while Canon gave us hope with their statement that was made back at CP Plus in February of 2022, and yes, I have to admit, I was one of those people that felt that there was a sense of hope, a sense of something bigger to come, that we would have the floodgates of lenses opening up, only to find out that it was more or less a smokescreen, that we only got two lenses, and both of those lenses didn't start arriving until 2023, mid to late 2023, a full year and a half after Canon said they would start approving lenses on a case by case basis. And while it's important to point out that many Canon customers, myself included, appreciate the high optics of lenses, such as the Canon RF 100 to 500 millimeter with incredible stabilization or the 100 to 300 millimeter F 2.8, the perfect sports lens for an overcast day, rain, cloud, or snow is gonna get the shot or the Canon 50 mm f1.2 with incredible sharpness from the center to the edges and fast and wide open at f1.2. But these lenses, these technical achievements, they're just not affordable to the vast majority 
of Canon customers, which are looking for lenses in the affordable range of between $400 and $1,600. But things are about to change. Because on September the 28th, 2023, Sony Alpha Rumors said that Canon's weakest spot compared to Sony is the fact that they have closed their mount, not allowing third-party manufacturers to easily make lenses with full electronic support, communicating directly to the mount. But Sony Alpha Rumors goes further saying, if the rumor is correct, the topic of this post, Canon will change course and the official announcement will happen by the end of 2023. Canon will open their mount to third-party lens manufacturers. And if true, this would be a big deal. And I know it will be a big deal because when I posted this story, whenever I covered anything related to third-party lens manufacturers, such as Sigma and Tamron, well, the level of response has been significant. These videos go right to the top, and rightly so, because it's pretty easy to look at Canon's lens lineup and say, look, when it comes to L-series glass, there's an awful lot out there. From the 100mm f2.8 macro, the 100 to 500mm, which I have, the 100 to 300 f2.8, and the list goes on. There's a lot of lenses in that high-end professional sports fast shooting marketplace or wildlife. There's a, the, we can look at that and see there's a huge amount of lenses. But when it comes to the affordable range, that 400 to 1600 or even 400 to 1000, well, there just isn't a whole lot of lenses. And yes, we do have a lot of kit lenses, but outside of that kit lens, well, there's, there's some missing gaps in the lineup. And there's a huge demand for Sigma lenses, especially the 150 to 600 millimeter variable aperture super telephoto lens, or the 35 millimeter f1.4 prime, and of course, the 24 to 70 general purpose lens. And all of these lenses, they're all under $1,500. However, we've been burned once before. After all, Canon's statement at CP Plus back in, well, February of 2022, so I read over the details of this and I had a few questions and I wondered, well, okay, we're, we don't know for sure that this is Sigma. So I reached out to Andrea, the editorial director and owner of Sony Alpha Rumors, the one who put out the post, and I asked him for a few more details. And he says that the information comes through retail channels and comes from credible sources, the same source that told him about the 200 to 800 millimeter that Canon did announce on November the 2nd, as well as the Nikon ZF, that Sony Alpha Rumors also got correct. And Andrea also reiterated this while he was a guest on my live stream for my Black Friday coverage. But that wasn't enough for me. Before I put out my video on September the 28th, I dug around a little bit more and I found a few other people telling me that something was going on. Now, a gentleman who was also on my live stream yesterday, John Drummond was at Build Expo, and I believe that was last month. And while he was talking to a Sigma rep, he was told that, well, there are some discussions going on with Canon. Hmm, discussions going on with Canon. Okay, so there was that piece, and I thought, well, that's interesting enough, but that, is, that itself is not enough. And then I heard from somebody in Europe, again, not related to John Drummond, not related to Sony Alpha Rumors, that had told me that, that Sigma is in discussions with Canon. Interesting, Sigma is in discussions with Canon. So that was three separate sources telling us that something is about to happen, something big, and likely before the end of 2023, we are getting a major announcement that Canon is going to be approving Sigma RF lenses. And today, according to Canon rumors, we have a big Sigma announcement that's happening in February. In a recent conversation that we had with an employee of a Sigma distributor in a certain country that we cannot name, we learned that February might finally be the month that we hear something from the Japanese third-party manufacturer. February is definitely a big month for the RF mount. And during that conversation, we learned that Sigma will likely show off or at least talk about two RF, RFS mount zoom lenses and a RF and RFS prime. And that's to be early next year. The distributor hasn't been privy to the exact products that Sigma plans to introduce but they have been notified about the demand that these new lenses would bring. Sadly, there are no further details about what lenses Sigma might be announcing, whether they're going to be announcing a full lineup of lenses or whether Canon's kind of restricting them and they're only going to get to produce a 50 millimeter F1.4 that has manual focus. I really would like to know more details, but as we've been primed from multiple sources telling us that something big is coming, that it's coming from Sigma, that we're going to have 
the mount opened up to Sigma to be able to produce their lenses, well, that, that, that's got me a little bit excited, but at the same point, I'm tempered because of all the teases we've had in the past from Canon about, well, CP Plus back in 2022, but that this is going to be a big announcement, and that's the key here. A big announcement with Sigma in February, most likely leading up to and approaching CP Plus, a trade show, a photo video trade show that takes place in Japan, the home of Sigma and the home of Canon. And it shows us that once again, Sony Alpha Rumors was right on track. The only difference is, is that maybe they got the date a little bit wrong, or perhaps since they reported on the information, the date could have changed. Because, well, for Canon, they have a lot of priorities right now. They just announced three new lenses, and two of those lenses, the 24 to 105 f 2.8 and the 200 to 800 millimeter, are selling so well that Canon's priority is to get those out the door so they can capitalize, get that revenue, because they're also gearing up to produce the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and the Canon EOS R1, along with a bunch of RF lenses. And what that's going to do is take a huge amount of capital. So Canon's focus on right focus right now is on generating revenue to produce a whole bunch of capital intensive manufacturing for lenses and camera bodies. And an announcement of Sigma will probably isn't at the highest on their list. But as we've been told by Sony Alpha Rumors, I, I, an announcement was supposed to happen by the end of 2023. And now the camera insider and now Canon Rumors has told us that a big announcement is happening in February and it's coming from a retail source as well. So I am starting to get a little bit excited about this, but again, I want to temper things a little bit. This looks very promising because we're hearing it from multiple sources. Sony Alpha Rumors, the Camera Insider. We've heard whisperings from Canon Rumors as well. We've also heard things from various sources behind the scenes, or at least I have. So something is definitely in the works. And as far as getting Sigma lenses on the Canon RF mount here in 2024, well, it's not 2024 yet, but you know what I mean? To get those lenses from Sigma in 2024, I think we're far closer to that than any other time since 2018. But now for one last thing. If you like this video and you like supporting this channel and you're looking at purchasing any camera gear, lenses or accessories such as tripods, Black Friday deals are still on where you can get $500 off a whole bunch of lenses like the Canon RF 100 to 500 millimeter. $900 off the Canon EOS R5 and the R5C, $300 off the Nikon Z8. Well, if you're looking at purchasing any of that gear from Adorama, b or Amazon.com, then please consider using my affiliate links right here or in the description down below because it really does help support this channel and it's what really funds a lot of the purchases and I appreciate, so, I appreciate it so much. For everybody that made purchases over the last couple of months, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. But that's it for now. It looks like we're going to get, I, I, I think things are getting really exciting. We're seeing the potential of new lenses coming up from Canon anywhere from 8 to 12 with three of them already announced, four of them already announced. Don't forget that 10 to 20 millimeter, the Canon EOS R5 Mark II, the Canon EOS R1. So a lot happening from Canon. Sigma announcement happening in February, CP Plus happening in February. And of course, I wouldn't be surprised if we get an announcement from Panasonic about a new S1 camera in early January, just like they announced the S5 II and the S5 II X. So while things have been quiet there, we can expect an announcement by Panasonic, but also Sony and Nikon. 2024, it's gonna be a very busy year. I think I'm gonna to have to have a gap year after this, but thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great weekend, and we'll see you again soon.